this neighborhood. And you can tell all these properties were built in like 60s, 70s, kind of mid-century yeah. era. We're hanging out with the Robinsons today and we're going to look at two vacation houses. In Laurel! We are from New Orleans, Louisiana. You've been married how long? Nine years. Yeah. Nine well, we've been together years. longer than that. We've been together forever. <laughs> <laughs> it's usually a well taken care of house. When it's a house built in the 60s or 70s, I think they're really good for families who don't want a ton of maintenance. Mom gave us a budget of $265. So this is the Mason house. What do you think? Oh, I awesome. love everything. It looks like a great house. Nice front yard. Nice place for the kids to play. I'm looking at the roof. It seems pretty good. Yeah, yeah, the roof looks roof. new. Mm -hmm. The Mason house, four bedrooms, three baths, 2,900 square feet, was built in 1966, and they're asking $170,000 for it, oh. okay? We call it the Mason house because Betty and Dick Mason lived here for 43 years. She was a lifelong nurse, mm -hmm. and he was a landman in the oil industry. Okay. okay. Oh, okay. I like that. I like that. Subtle. It is very subtle. We take these iron bars off the windows and give you a new front door that has windows in it. It's something a little bit more modern, lets in more natural light. And then build this sort of a partition wall with wood slats that is kind of a decorative element you would see in mid-century houses mm -hmm. that would, in this case, kind of push this house into the 2020s modern version. What do you think? I love the brick floors. I do like these floors. Yes, these are really nice. I love the wood up top. You like that? Yes. yes. The fireplace is great. I love yeah. the fireplace. Might pull out that brass insert. It's a little small. Yes. We can't make this room any bigger, but we can make it feel bigger. It would be really, really cool if we could open up the walls on each side of the fireplace, so then it's open to the kitchen. Isn't this a great backyard? Oh, wow. Big. It's yeah. a lot of space, a lot, lot of, of space, space for the kids. Yes. Like the pool? Uh, yeah. <laughs> what pool, Ben? <laughs> so about that, um, mm -hmm. there isn't a pool. Okay. But we know that this is gonna be kind of a vacation for you when you're here, yes. right? And that a pool's an important part of vacation, especially when you have kids. Mm -hmm. right. So this is what we propose. Okay. Building a small pool right here. Wouldn't that be a great spot for one? It, it will be. Yeah. You don't need a huge no. one to fill up this whole yard mm -hmm. or anything, but just one big enough for you guys to swim with the kids. And then we could give you a kind of simple outdoor kitchenette out yeah. here. A little bit of counter. Okay. A sink and a grill. Sounds great. And we yeah. could give you really cool patio tables with umbrellas and some party lights strung out here so that it just feels magical. I can see everybody hanging out here. Kids in the pool. Sounds really nice. Let's talk about the bush outs. What do you think? Wow, it's beautiful. It. It's a pretty strong architectural style. You can look at it and definitely tell when it was built. Harry and Jean Bush built this house in 1961, and they are the only people who have ever lived here. Okay? Wow. Four bedrooms, four baths. It's 3,000 square feet. They're asking $165,000 for it. Okay. And I mean, it's really well kept. It looks like it. What do you think? It's a beautiful home. However, the only thing that I really am not too keen about is the ironwork around the house. Okay, it's a little frilly, right? Yes, yes it, it is. is. The ironwork, I think, could go. And here's what I'm thinking. <gasps> oh, wow. It's beautiful. You like it? I yes. love it. <laughs> okay, awesome. It's really subtle changes. We just took away all the ironwork, okay. replaced it with like a decorative slatted wood that's a little more modern and sleek. And then maybe just trimming up the landscaping because it's really so beautiful. It, it is. is. There's two cooktops, two ovens, two fridges, two sinks, two dishwashers. I've never seen anything like that's that. That's crazy. Me neither. I know this is not your style, but it's got all the space you could ever want. Yes, I so, love the space. Good. Now this is a den. Wow. Oh yes, this is definitely a damn. Huge. This is interesting on this side. So yes, what is that? I'm we confused. don't know. So we've come and looked. <laughs> you got a light, a trap door, but I don't want to open the door because I'm afraid of what might fall. Yeah, don't do that. Come on out. Oh wow. So this one already has a pool, and it's in good shape. It probably just needs some cleaning. More yard. That's a lot yeah. of yard. Outdoor sinks. Yeah. Lots of potential. Potential parties. Oh, yes. Need some work. Yeah, that looks a little dingy and rough. I know. Yeah. Yes. We would want to take this off. We'll go over with a metal roof, 
let's do some granite out here, mm -hmm. a new sink, and then let's continue this. And you have a built-in gas grill in the brick and a big burner for doing crawfish bowls. Okay. All of this out here mm -hmm. is another $25,000. The house is $165,000. $100,000 mm -hmm. gets you the kitchen, the den, the bedroom and bathroom. Okay. Or the kitchen, the den, the outdoor area. So you either get the bedroom, bathroom or this to stay at $265,000. Yeah. Don't feel like you have to rush into a decision. You can take your time. I think I'm leaning towards one already. You reading my mind? I think so. Okay. I hope so. Uh, <laughs> well, now I'm very curious. Bush or Mason on three. One, two, three. Bush. Bush. <laughs> so you want to buy this house? Yes. 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 It's funny yes. because y'all both like it because you want to be cooking. <laughs> yeah. yeah. You answer that on both sides. <laughs> Am I understanding then that this is going to be your priority versus bedroom and bath, and you can do that later? Yes. yes. Okay. So tile comes down, islands out of here. We're keeping the lowers over there and the lowers over here. Not this layout. all Go gone. Gone. I'm going up. Okay. Front of the oven just shattered like oh. glitter. Hey, Aaron. Yeah. Looks like we have brick. Hey, oh. It's in good shape. It's going to need a sealer, though. That's okay. We've been bowed up at the Robinsons' house. It's been completely demoed. So now we're beginning the process of building back. The roofing on the back porch is changing. We're halfway through with it. It is so much cleaner this way. We've already had the electrical come in and we've run all new sheetrock in the ceiling. Gosh, it's better. It's good, isn't it? That's it. This makes a big difference, I think. Fits the style of the house a little better. So are we painting these? Yeah, it's gonna be this color. Ooh. I just wanna push it away from the sad brown 70s into something a little more fresh in there. First, I think we ought to get a chalk box. Let's get a straight line across the front. Measure off the front. Mm -hmm. The masons are coming tomorrow. Mm -hmm. So what Chase and I did was actually lay out where everything is going to be. Ready? Yeah. That's it. And then we're going to use these brick. Start laying it out. See what we have. So you got fridge. I'm a refrigerator. You are the refrigerator. One layer. And then grill. Here. Watch that. Just getting to see it and the layout. I mean, I assume this one's going to have electronic ignition, so we're going to have to have power back there, too. It'd be nice to have a plug in, too. Yeah. Think For about sure. plugging in some jams out here on a right. summer day by the pool, yeah. crawfish. Well, before we showed you the Bush house, but this one, this is the Robinson house. <gasps> oh, wow. Oh, man, I love it. Look the at it. Iron work is gone. It is yeah. gone. <laughs> Thank you for noticing. Oh, wow. Oh, look at that. Removing the scrolly, swirly iron work that was definitely <laughs> not you and giving it a more modern take mm -hmm. on this mid-century style. Oh, my God. It's beautiful. Right? Oh, my God. You guys rock. Oh, my goodness. This is totally different. Do you feel like you're on vacation? Do I? Yes. I do. Yes. Yeah? This is a dream kitchen. Oh, God. Seafood. Yes. Oh, my goodness. OK, bud. I don't even know what to look at first. It's going to be so much fun in the summer, but it's also ready for winter. Put firewood in the fireplace and have a fire out here. Oh, wow. It'll be so great. I don't even, I, I'm, I'm, I don't even know what to say. You got a burner. You know what that's for? Yes. A pot will fit right on here. Uh-huh. And then he eat it over here. You dump it on this crawfish table, all right? So Yes. So this was something we built in the wood shop. You got stainless and cypress, and this will all hold up really well outside. I love it. The best part is that the top comes off, and so it'll all break down 
you can put it in storage when you're not using it. But you know, I think I would just keep it out yeah. to use for like a cooking work surface. I would. But when you're cooking yes. and grilling. I'm pretty sure I'll do a awesome. lot of seafood. Yeah. <laughs> Definitely. I would. This is awesome. I, I love, love this. And look at your pool. It was so disgusting. Oh, wow. Yes. It's like a resort out bottom. here. Oh my goodness. <laughs> the kids will really enjoy this. I think the big kids will enjoy this. Yeah. yeah. You got a hot, hot tub. tub. It's such a cool backyard. I mean, look at this. Replacing the roof so it's not so moldy anymore. Yes. Right. But also during the summer, it won't be so miserable hot under here. Yeah. It's going to be so fun. I love it. I can't wait.